prepare the cable with the finished internal splice. It's necessary to take into account the appropriate regulations and procedures for each type of cable. To do this, you can follow the instructions included in the Plymouth Mining Splice Kits. Prepare the cable jacket at each end of the splice before you start applying Plymouth Vulcanizing Compound for jacketing repair. Apply the vulcanizing compound from one end of the splice in half-lapped layers, while elongation must be between 50% and 100%. Taping must be carried out homogeneously, thus obtaining a uniform diameter in the length of the splice and an optimal subsequent vulcanizing process. Use as many tape rolls as necessary to achieve the required diameter, depending on the diameter of the original jacket and the mould to be used for vulcanising. Check that the obtained diameter after taping is correct. Apply several layers of glass cloth tape Plymouth 77 ply glass to prevent the vulcanizable compound from flowing out of the mould towards the cable. Spray the inner surface of the mould with silicon release agent for an easy removal of the mould. Place the cable at the bottom of the mould and fix the top so that they fit correctly. Once the vulcanizing press has been preheated, Insert the mould and close it, ensuring that it's carried out completely and uniformly. The temperature to be reached and the vulcanizing time depends on the type of material and the mass to be used to rebuild the cable jacket. Remove the mould from the vulcanizing press. After opening and cooling, Eliminate the possible burr generated in the part of the union of the mould. Take into account the relevant security measures. The risk of thermal and electrical contact and the emission of vapours can be present. The splice is now finished and the cable is ready for operation.